Welcome, and I hope you enjoy this demonstration video of the McGann Technology PDAK Insulation Integrity Tester. Let's take a first hand look at the components that come in each PDAK kit. First is the base unit, the user's handbook, an informational CD, a high voltage lead wire for testing, a green ground wire, a charging transformer, a ring electrode, and a brush electrode. Now let's go through the operation procedure of the PDAK. First we have the base unit as an off button, an on button, Turned on, you bring your voltage setting here with this knob to approximately 3 kV. There's also a battery indicator level on underneath the voltage. Turn the unit off at this point. Make sure you put surgical gloves on to protect yourself during testing. On the side of the unit, we have a green port and a red port. We'll now insert the green ground wire into the green port the red high voltage wire into the red port. At this point, we'll decide to use a laparoscopic instrument. And what we'll do is we'll attach the green ground wire to the bow lead port. We'll lay this unit down while we insert the electrode into the high voltage lead. Now we'll insert the laparoscopic instrument into the circular probe, turn the unit on, make sure it's at 3 kV, and slide the unit up and down the laparoscopic instrument until you get a fault light or a buzzing noise over here. Once done and complete, you'll take the ring electrode off, you'll place the brush electrode onto the unit, and then you'll go back through the instrument and find out where the fault actually occurs. Once you find that, you'll know that there's actually a fault there. Please mark it, put it aside, and have your designated refurbisher take care of that instrument. Turn the unit off. Unclip the light. Now let's test the bipolar unit. Attach the ground. Hold it in your hand firmly. Turn the unit on. Take the brush electrode that's already on and go up and down the unit. Oh, you'll see the fault at the end. You'll go through each side looking for pinholes. There's another one there. And on both sides, you can find different ones there. This unit should probably go back and get repaired at your repair facility. Again, mark and put away for a later date. Turn the unit off. And clip all the parts. And there you have it. Thank you again for watching this video. If you have any questions, please call us at 508-876-1070 or reach us on the web at www.mcgan.com. Thank you again and look forward to speaking to you.